Imagine waking up one morning to a sky ablaze with unfamiliar stars, the night brighter than the day before. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was profoundly wrong. News outlets buzzed with a terrifying revelation. Earth was being inexorably pulled toward the galactic center. Welcome to TM What If. In today's mind-bending episode, we'll journey together through this unimaginable scenario, experiencing it from a first-person perspective. We'll explore the awe and dread of witnessing our planet plunge into a cosmic maelstrom, encountering phenomena like lethal radiation belts, rogue black holes, and time distortions that challenge our very perception of reality. How would our daily lives unravel as the laws of physics twist around us? Join me as we step into the unknown, facing the ultimate question. What happens when Earth collides with the heart of the galaxy? But before we dive into this cosmic nightmare, let's set the stage for this extraordinary journey. Understanding the Galactic Center and Sagittarius a uh, to comprehend the magnitude of Earth colliding with the galactic center, we first need to understand what the galactic center is and what resides there. At the core of our Milky Way galaxy lies a region teeming with stars, dust, gas, and most notably, a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A. Discovered in the 1970s through radio astronomy observations, Sagittarius A has a mass estimated to be about 4 million times that of our Sun. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Sagittarius A exerts a gravitational influence over thousands of stars in its vicinity, causing them to orbit at incredible speeds. In fact, Dr. Andrea Gies of UCLA, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020, has spent decades tracking these stellar orbits to prove the existence of this supermassive black hole. Her groundbreaking research utilized the Keck Observatory in Hawaii to capture the movements of stars whipping around the galactic center at velocities up to several thousand kilometers per second. The environment near Sagittarius A is extreme beyond human comprehension. Temperatures soar to millions of degrees due to the friction of gas and dust spiraling into the black hole. The region is bathed in intense radiation, including X-rays and gamma rays emitted by superheated matter. Magnetic fields twist and tangle, and space-time itself is warped by the immense gravity. If Earth were somehow destined to collide with this cosmic monstrosity, the implications would be profound. But how could such an unlikely journey even begin? Let's explore the hypothetical path that would lead our planet toward the galactic center, setting Earth on a collision course. Under normal circumstances, Earth is safely nestled in the Orion arm of the Milky Way, orbiting the Sun at a comfortable distance of about 93 million miles. Our solar system, in turn, orbits the galactic center at a distance of approximately 25,000 to 28,000 light-years, taking about 225 to 250 million years to complete a single orbit, a period known as a galactic year. For Earth to collide with the galactic center, something would have to drastically alter the trajectory of our entire solar system. One hypothetical scenario could involve a close encounter with a rogue star or a passing dwarf galaxy whose gravitational influence is strong enough to perturb our orbit. Alternatively, the collision of the Milky Way with the neighboring Andromeda galaxy, an event predicted to occur in about 4 billion years, could send shockwaves through the galactic structure, potentially disrupting stellar orbits. Astrophysicists at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics have modeled such galactic collisions, noting that while stars within galaxies rarely collide due to the vast distances between them, gravitational interactions can dramatically reshape galactic structures. 
Dr. Avi Loeb, a prominent theoretical physicist, suggests that such cosmic events could fling star systems into new trajectories, some possibly toward the galactic centers. However, even these cataclysmic events make it highly improbable for Earth to head straight into Sagittarius A. But in the spirit of TM What If, let's suspend disbelief and imagine that our solar system has been knocked off course, setting us on an inevitable path toward the galactic center. The Long Journey Through the Galactic Disk Embarking on a journey of tens of thousands of light years, Earth would traverse regions of the galaxy we've never observed up close. The interstellar medium between us and the galactic center is rich with molecular clouds, star-forming regions, and remnants of supernovae. As we move closer, the density of stars increases dramatically. In our local neighborhood, there are about 0.004 stars per cubic light year. Near the galactic center, this density can rise to over 100 stars per cubic light year. This increased stellar density poses significant risks. The likelihood of encountering close stellar neighbors increases, raising the chances of gravitational interactions that could disrupt planetary orbits within our solar system. Moreover, passing near massive stars or supernova remnants could expose Earth to lethal doses of radiation. In the United States, astronomers using facilities like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory have studied these dense regions. For instance, the Galactic Center's Quintuplet Cluster and Arches Cluster are home to some of the most massive and luminous stars known. Dr. Mark Morris of UCLA has noted that the intense ultraviolet radiation from these stars can influence the chemistry and physics of the surrounding interstellar medium. As Earth plunges deeper into the galactic disk, the night sky would transform spectacularly. The Milky Way would no longer appear as a faint band of light, but as a blazing tapestry of stars and nebulae. However, this beauty comes at a price the increased risk of collision with interstellar objects like rogue planets, asteroids, or comets, gravitational tidal forces, and Earth's structural integrity. Approaching the galactic center, Earth's encounter with Sagittarius A would be dominated by the black hole's immense gravitational field. One of the most devastating effects we'd experience is tidal gravitational forces. These forces arise because the gravitational pull on the side of Earth closer to the black hole would be significantly stronger than on the far side, causing the planet to stretch along the line toward the black hole. This process, often referred to as spaghettification, was vividly described by physicist Sir Martin Rees in his book Gravity's Fatal Attraction. As the tidal forces intensify, they could exceed the structural integrity of Earth's crust, leading to massive tectonic disruptions. Earthquakes of unprecedented magnitude would shatter the planet's surface, triggering volcanic eruptions worldwide. In the US, areas along the Pacific Ring of Fire, like California's San Andreas Fault, would experience catastrophic seismic activity. The Yellowstone Caldera, a supervolcano in Wyoming could erupt, ejecting vast quantities of ash and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. Such an eruption could blanket North America, causing a volcanic winter and decimating agriculture. NASA's Earth Observatory has studied the effects of large-scale volcanic eruptions on climate. The 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines, for example, led to a global temperature decrease of about 0.6 degrees Celsius due to the aerosols injected into the stratosphere. The eruptions triggered by gravitational stresses near the galactic center would be orders of magnitude greater. Atmospheric and environmental catastrophes. Beyond geological upheaval, Earth's atmosphere would face dire consequences. The intense radiation emitted near the galactic center could strip away the ozone layer, exposing the surface to harmful ultraviolet rays. 
the magnetosphere, which protects us from solar and cosmic radiation, might be overwhelmed or disrupted by the influx of charged particles. Research conducted by scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, has shown that increased UV radiation can have detrimental effects on ecosystems, including reduced crop yields and harm to marine life due to the destruction of phytoplankton populations. Moreover, interactions with interstellar gas and dust could lead to the accretion of material onto Earth's atmosphere, altering its composition. Dr. Bruce T. Drain of Princeton University has studied how interstellar dust can affect planetary atmospheres, potentially leading to cooling or heating effects depending on the circumstances. In cities across the United States, from New York to Chicago, the consequences would be felt acutely. Infrastructure not designed to withstand such extreme environmental changes would fail power grids could collapse under the strain of geomagnetic storms induced by heightened solar and cosmic activity. As TM What If delves deeper into this scenario, it becomes clear that the survival of life on Earth hangs by a thread, human survival strategies and technological challenges. Faced with impending doom, humanity would scramble to devise survival strategies Governments and private entities would likely collaborate to create subterranean habitats or shielded environments. The US, with its technological resources and infrastructure, might lead efforts in constructing vast underground cities equipped with life support systems. Organizations like SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, have already expressed interest in colonizing other planets as a means of ensuring the long-term survival of humanity. In this dire scenario, accelerating such plans would become a top priority. However, the feasibility of establishing self-sustaining colonies on Mars or beyond within a short time frame remains questionable. Dr. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist and futurist, has often spoken about the challenges of becoming a multi-planetary species. He emphasizes the need for breakthroughs in propulsion technology, life support systems, and radiation shielding. Under the time constraints imposed by our collision course, achieving these advancements would be an extraordinary feat. Moreover, ethical considerations would arise regarding who gets to escape or shelter. The logistics of moving large populations or even a fraction of humanity off-planet are daunting. As TM What If explores, the psychological and societal impacts of such a crisis could lead to widespread panic, conflict, or a breakdown of social order. The Effects of Relativistic Physics Near a Black Hole As Earth approaches the event horizon of Sagittarius A, the effects predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity become significant. Time dilation would occur, meaning time on Earth would slow down relative to the rest of the universe. This effect, while negligible in everyday life, becomes profound near a massive gravitational field. The phenomenon was depicted in Christopher Nolan's film Interstellar, where consultation with physicist Dr. Kip Thorne ensured scientific accuracy. In the film, characters experience time differently due to proximity to a black hole. Similarly, inhabitants on Earth would perceive time passing more slowly, although this effect would be overshadowed by the immediate dangers they face. Gravitational lensing would distort our view of the cosmos. The sky might appear warped, with stars bending around the periphery of the black hole's immense gravity. This visual spectacle, while fascinating, would be a harbinger of impending doom. Crossing the Event Horizon Crossing the Event Horizon, the point of no return, is where our understanding of physics reaches its limits. Inside a black hole, the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply. Some theories, like those proposed by Dr. Stephen Hawking, suggest that information and matter are lost to the singularity. 
others propose the possibility of information being preserved or even ejected through phenomena like Hawking radiation. For Earth, crossing the event horizon would mean being stretched and compressed beyond recognition. The planet would be torn apart, and all matter would be crushed into an infinitesimal point. Speculative ideas, such as wormholes or gateways to other universes, remain in the realm of theoretical physics and science fiction. As T.M. Watt If contemplates this ultimate fate, we are reminded of the vast unknowns that still exist in our understanding of the universe. The Aftermath from a galactic perspective, the loss of Earth would be a minor event. The Milky Way contains hundreds of billions of stars, and the disappearance of one planet would hardly cause a ripple. However, for any civilizations that might be observing us from afar, the sudden cessation of radio and television signals, a phenomenon sometimes referred to as the Great Silence, could be noticeable. Scientists involved in SETI, like Dr. Jill Tarter, have long pondered the implications of detecting or losing contact with extraterrestrial intelligence. The loss of Earth's signals might lead other civilizations to speculate about our fate, much as we search the cosmos for signs of life. Moreover, the absorption of Earth into Sagittarius A would contribute an infinitesimal amount of mass to the black hole slightly altering its properties. Researchers at institutions like the Kavli Institute for Particle Astrophysics and Cosmology study such interactions to understand black hole growth and evolution, reflecting on the fragility of life. This hypothetical scenario underscores the fragility of our existence in the cosmos. Earth occupies a narrow habitable zone around the Sun with conditions finely tuned to support life. The stability of our solar system and its orbit within the Milky Way has allowed life to flourish for billions of years. As TM What If illustrates, cosmic events beyond our control could drastically alter this delicate balance. While the probability of Earth colliding with the galactic center is virtually non-existent, considering such possibilities encourages us to appreciate our planet and perhaps inspire efforts to protect it. Carl Sagan eloquently expressed this sentiment in his book Pale Blue Dot, reminding us that Earth is a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Our shared responsibility is to cherish and preserve this tiny oasis in the vast expanse of space. Conclusion So, what if Earth collided with the galactic center? The journey would be a harrowing odyssey through the most extreme environments the universe has to offer. From gravitational chaos and environmental catastrophes to the ultimate dissolution of our planet within a supermassive black hole, the scenario is as fascinating as it is terrifying. But here at TM What If, we delve into these extraordinary hypotheticals not to instill fear, but to ignite curiosity and wonder about the cosmos. Exploring such scenarios helps us appreciate the remarkable circumstances that allow life to exist and thrive on Earth. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. If you found this episode thought-provoking, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to TM What If for more explorations into the unknown. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What What If scenario intrigues you the most? Leave a comment below and let us know. Your idea might just be the focus of our next episode. Until next time, Keep looking up at the stars and imagining the endless possibilities that await us in the universe.